All right, friends, today's the day. We hit 2 million subscribers thanks to you guys, and as promised, we're gonna build the biggest B-17 we've ever had in our lives. And this is just the beginning. possibly the biggest project we've ever taken on in the history of flight tests. Dave just got the 3D files that we're going to be using to build this monster B-17. Now our goal is pretty simple here. We want to build the fuselage first, but we also want a really good set of drawings and that's why we're using 3D prints to be able to dissect because we want this to be scale and also just beautifully built. Uh, Dave, what do you got here? So uh, right at the moment I'm looking at a model of a B-17. I'm just trying to uh, figure out how to scale it and then we're gonna kind of cut it up and dissect it to get some sketches. Awesome. One thing we gotta do is basically with a hot wire cutter is we gotta take uh, you know the final form and we gotta slice it into different layers at different widths uh, that hopefully will give us the profiles we need to make a scale shape. Hopefully it's pretty straightforward. We've, <laughs> yeah. got, a, we've got a lot of learning to do yeah. yet again. <laughs> we're gonna take it guys. There's a reason why we're spreading this build out to celebrate two million so long here. We don't want to just build it and fly it and then move on. We want this to be a forever airplane, but we want functioning bomb doors. We've never actually built retracts in something. Yeah, um, there's there's definitely plenty of stuff for people to learn and for us to learn. No doubt. The end goal is going to be to have like FPV able to be mounted in certain advantage points so people can actually fly along and move around as well. So it's just a full interactive experience. Uh, maybe add some laser tag equipment too. Definitely add some laser tag equipment. <laughs> I love where this is going, man. Awesome. So do you need me for anything? Or um, Right now I just got to experiment and figure out the best way to do this. Cool. Um, How about you need me? Perfect. Thanks. All right, so I'm on a rabbit trail for a second. The weather's nice. I'm gonna seize this opportunity. We've been working on this for the past six months. Uh, these are what we've mentioned in our podcast called the Tenants. It's basically a reconfigurable plane using both foam board and hot wire EPS foam. We've been testing them. I wanna test them in their final versions before we put this production and we get the curriculum written about this. Our goal is in February to get these things launched. And my hope is, is that this is kind of done and ready to move on uh, where we can start experimenting with how many different configurations it can do. This is gonna be a STEM project of STEM projects and we hope that schools will really benefit. But we gotta fly them. Are you going from the balcony? Dude, there's a little more to go. <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the balcony has actually turned into our preferential flying uh, area, which is pretty cool. We're either gonna find out whether it flies good or we're gonna find out if it's durable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sorry. we got the swept wing. Yeah. With the regular tail. Yeah. I'm going that way. Toss me that way a little bit up. Okay. It's in the air. Ha ha. Oh, he turned. Oh, he turned. <laughs> I was scared. I was scared. Robert, I was scared. How did she fly? It's, it's awesome, but it's... it's Definitely more challenging as far as it's not like the, the original. It looks a little slippery. It Is looks, it slippery? I mean, yeah. Okay. Look, but at look, at, look at that upside down bow. Inverted flight, no problemo. I like how maneuverable it just carves. Yeah. Whoa. Oh! Oh! He <laughs> 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 almost got right. bamboozled it. I want to change the CG. Uh, do me a favor, open up that door for me. I want to land it. All right. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but what? Dude, she's coming in hot too, bro. She's gonna come in real hot. Just make sure you get clear from me. I'm not yeah, clear, bro. Oh! Ah! Yeah! Yeah! That worked! <laughs> We're supposed to land it in the Christmas tree. It was kind of like, you, you knife it through the tree. The tree. The tree. Oh, that was awesome. Look at it. A little bit of uh, crinkle there, but not much. We're good there, no yeah. problem there. Awesome. Cool. Approved. <laughs> Which camera do I thumbs up? That's awesome. awesome. That was amazing. All right, cool. Thanks for your help. <laughs> All right, all the design work is done. We're up here at manufacturing up in the upper mezzanine here. Uh, Dave is getting ready to cut this big block of foam into a smaller manageable piece. And then from that point on, we're gonna start running our files through G-Code to cut out our pieces of fuselage. What do you think, Bob? I'm, I'm glad you guys know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> We're just really good at there, making. <laughs> there's something so therapeutic. First, this is a cool building because we can go over here and we can watch lasers, and then we turn around here and we have hot wire. Love it. 
While David is cutting out those pieces, I'm really excited to share some information about our sponsor today, and that is Truebill. Truebill is an all-in-one personal finance platform that helps you save money and spend less. Now, this personal finance manager allows you to manage subscriptions, lower bills, and also monitor your credit score. All this helps work together to help build your savings and also monitor how you spend money. Now, one of my New Year's resolutions was to be a little bit more responsible and tighten up those purse strings to make sure I'm not wasting any money. I actually found out that I was wasting over $32 a month in subscriptions that I never used or never needed. There were oftentimes introductory rates that I forgot to cancel, and those just started coming out of my bank account without me noticing it. When you think about $32 being spent a month, that's basically the full materials we have in our 20-foot B17. How's that for a shocker? Truebill is not only fantastic for managing subscriptions, but they're also fantastic for helping you negotiate better rates on your bill. All you simply need to do is upload your bill and with the tap of the button, they can actually help negotiate better rates on both your bills and also credit cards. Truebill is also fantastic for helping you set up a budget. That budget can be set up in categories and you can also get reminders when you're exceeding those categories in your spending. Now, if your New Year's resolution is to watch your pennies a little bit more closely so that maybe you can enjoy time with your family or build something crazy, go to truebill.com slash flight test and you can try out the service for free and start saving immediately. Time to head back to manufacturing and see what Dave and Bob are up to. I'm going to push out this inside piece. Oh, that's pretty. Alright, so this is the first piece to our B-17. <laughs> Beautiful. It's, it's part of the nose. <laughs> that's where the greenhouse, this part here that's all smooth is where the greenhouse comes up from. And then this back part here, this is where the, the chin turret, see how this is bob flat? That's where the chin turret is. That gotcha. actually came out looking really sharp. So we have nine more to go. We better get to work. <laughs> get a lot of work. <laughs> what you got? All right, Josh. So I'm seeing a uh, pattern here with these monster planes that we keep doing out of the phone. It's cursed. It, it ends up with me and you here, middle of the night, <laughs> doing stuff that we probably shouldn't be doing when we're this tight. We're getting cranky, we're getting cranky. <laughs> so we got the uh, second from the back section done of the fuselage. Yes, we do. Um, <laughs> we didn't think it through though. And <laughs> the issue is, you know, we cut in part of the rudder on it. The front of this is, is a larger diameter. The back of it is a smaller diameter, and the rudder is the exact opposite. So it goes in and gets stuck either direction. The, the inside is going to be the challenging part. The outside's easy. The outside, I'm just going to grab this here. Dude, that's like you cracked open one of those uh, Kinder Joy eggs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That but looks amazing. It looks, it looks beautiful. Now. With any luck, if we can spread this apart enough. Don't break. Please don't break. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> Good job! And we have another smaller airplane inside there, of the one plane. It's like there, uh, one of those uh, eggs. Yeah. Ironically, that's our third scale uh, B-17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is awesome, though. We have learned so much in this past day, though. Well, we got uh, three pieces, that makes four. We got six left, and I got the file right here for that one. All right. Do it again? Yep, let's do it. Right. So we're learning a lot through this process. Mainly, I I've learned what not to do over and over again, but um, there's things called sink points, and those sink points are really important to make sure. So if one side of the gimbal is going in a small area, you got to tell that wire to be at the same point over here and here, which means this gantry may move faster, this gantry may move uh, slower. Um, there's a simulation process. Once you put those sync points in, you can watch it, you can run it, just as if the CNC machine's doing it. And then you can look around and kind of move it and just make sure nothing's too weird. I uh, wish I knew this a couple steps ago, uh, but we're on our final couple pieces now and uh, we're working in the front canopy area, but also we're making some areas thinner uh, so we can drop the turrets in and those are gonna be all you know, able to be individually controlled. So we're trying to think ahead a little bit. Uh, and I think we're down to maybe uh, Two more pieces. The last piece. What do you think, Josh? I'll tell you in a second. Oh, this on there. Thank God I got the formers right on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Looks perfect. Looks good, yeah. That's B17-ish. Yeah, definitely. So there's 
lots of different areas where there has to be radius and there's gonna be lots of extra meat in those areas so when the wind comes on we'll take our hot wire uh, sculpting tools and we'll sculpt that in but I kind of want to just stack it up and see if we can touch the ceiling you down for a jingle game yeah let's yeah. try right. hopefully we don't break it <laughs> Just imagine the gunner pods, like we're gonna have the, the chin turret here, that'll be controllable, the nose turret, the uh, the side gunners, all that stuff's gonna be exposed and we made this thinner so we can cut that in. You, you putting your hand up there for the turret, that thing's gonna be like that big around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and the nice thing about that, it means we don't have to build all those electronics into the turret, we just have to make a recess and then we'll make the turret itself like self-contained battery, everything. We're not just building a big airplane. We want this plane to be pulled out and we want to do laser tag experiences where, you know, different planes can come up and try to shoot it and make the engines go out. We want FPV uh, perspectives from every single gunner point that we can reconfigure. So if we want, you know, four people flying uh, FPV experience, being able to shoot or, or move the turrets, we want to be able to do that. So this plane is not only getting designed to fly and look scale, but also we've got to make sure it can be like added on to later, similar to what we're doing with the Megalacy. We got, we got a B-17 fuselage. All right, now we just kind of put it in the truck. We were going to set this up and mess with the guys and, uh, and have some fun. And uh, yeah, I'm going to work. Oh, it's down to the last few pieces. I have to get them all. You got this, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can do this. I could help, but this is just fun to watch. <laughs> All right, so we came back from lunch and we were uh, we we're having some fun talking about the shop. Yeah, yeah. Um, we want to make some upgrades around here and kind of uh, make a whoop track. Yeah, we, two years ago we had Jesse down and it was just incredible. We transformed this place. We had one of the best Christmas parties ever. Ugly sweaters flying all around. It was really cool. But we're going to be working with Jesse and we're going to be bringing the whoops back. And, and really, this place has not changed much since then. No, 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 actually not not at all, really. Um, so we were kind of thinking about doing different sections. So you, you turn around a corner yeah. and it's a different world. Yeah. And basically doing that all over the shop. So kind of what we're thinking here is that this section here would kind of be the whimsical, just imagine tailspin, you know what I mean? Like crazy flying machines, just really cool, you know, environment. But there's this thing on the internet where they made uh, like pillow fluff and LED strips and made these crazy looking lightning clouds. And if you've noticed, our ceiling has had better days. Uh, this would be a really cool way to dress up the ceiling, but also when we drop the lights, we could have like a full blown thunderstorm. Ball. Yeah, yeah, we can we can do lights, sound, everything. Yeah, it's gonna look awesome. I love it. Now on this side here, what we're thinking is, this is kind of where Star Wars is. We have our AT-AT here. We need to build another Millennium Falcon someday. Um, but this is like this geodesic guy right here. Uh, it is awesome, but it's also kind of starting to twist and see its age. We have a hot wire cutter machine now. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to split the long tube into two sections and we're going to make our version of Anakin Skywalker's pod racer. And uh, we can wrap it kind of like in a foam mold. So you're flying through the engine nacelles and then ultimately, you know, around Anakin's pod and before you turn. So I'll get with Wes and we'll get um, some LEDs and some pillow fluff from Amazon ordered. I don't know what LEDs, I know he was talking about like Arduinos and stuff like that. Um, but I'll get with Wes, we'll order that, I'll start designing the pod racer, maybe we'll pull that sucker down, start taking some measurements, and uh, this yeah. place is going to get transformed. It looks pretty heavy, we better get to it. <laughs> really heavy. Now we're pretty much done with this main fuselage here, I do got to go back and I got to fix that one side piece. So for next week we're going to be lining everything up, we're going to get those seamed out, we're going to join the pieces, we're going to glue it all together, and then I need to start working on getting the tail sections designed. Uh, so we can get those on and in the meantime this thing has to have turrets yeah yeah so i'm gonna get started on that stuff i think we're gonna try to go with 3d printing and hopefully do some really neat stuff so each turret will be controlled individually in a, yeah individually and also fpv with laser tag stuff yes yeah we got we got the first prototypes of the laser tag in and again the vision for this is to kind of make it where we can have people ride along and they can have gunner positions so when we're flying the b-17 and the enemy fighters come in they'll actually be shooting back with laser tag and then feeling the full autonomous motion and they'll have control themselves. 
This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. awesome. And if you guys haven't noticed, we have a different format that we're trying out here. There's so much more going on in the shop with crazy projects, not just around huge monsters B-17s, but you know, pod racers and things like that. We wanna take you through the whole entire process. We also wanna dig deeper into how we engineer these things, things that we were never able to really show before. So this is kinda of like a little bit of a vlog mixed with our content. We hope you like it. Hit that subscribe bell because next week, we're gluing this together. Yep, it's let's gonna be a big... uh, get to it. <laughs>